Hey there, Maniacs viewers. You're watching the Money Man Show. It's not just the names of the way of life. you got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. I appreciate y'all watching. All y'all make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check me out on all my social media. Links will be in the description. Sign up for the uh, Lot 19 giveaway. Sign up for whatever month knife giveaway is going on, which should be the February one, I believe. And we're going to try to get this video uploaded pretty quick after filming it. And it's kind of an update, a sneak peek, and it's kind of a state of the country, a state of the gun community, a state of the channel, and a state of this, a state of that. But for eight minutes, it's going to be me talking about a whole bunch of different things. I'm going to be all over the place with this video, so just hang on. And I'm drinking some uh, black coffee right now. Learn to appreciate the taste of black coffee. Learn to appreciate the taste of coffee. Uh, you don't always have to drink it black. You can put some cream in it. You know, you can you can put some artificial sweetener. If you drink a cup of sugar a day, probably not going to kill you. But uh, don't drink every one of them sweetened and uh, and everything up. Learn to appreciate the taste of that black coffee because it. Uh, Shit hits the fan. It's a SHTF situation. You might be drinking a lot of it. And plus, it's good for you. It's a natural diuretic. Uh, it helps clean you out and everything else. So that's just one of the topics we're going to talk about today. But let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the gun community. The ATF has got almost a billion records for a billion firearms. Uh, that they're holding on to right now. They have claimed that over the years they have collected them from FFLs who went out of business, who weren't dealing right, who uh, lost their licenses from not dealing right, and uh, certain things. But basically, every time a small FFL goes out of business, they have to turn all their records, their 4473s, over to the FBI. And that being said, there is a searchable database of those records at the ATF. And they claim those records are only used to help trace guns in cases of gun crime and that sort of thing. But there's also been a lot more pressure put on the ATF to audit more small FFLs and shut them down. Thus being said, if you shut them down or put them out of business, they got to give all y'all's records to the ATF. So, and then when the ATF gets them, they put them in that database. So, guess what, folks? There is an unofficial, but official, gun registry already going on by the ATF in this country. And if that don't tick you off and scare you a little bit... You probably need to go ahead and email your senators and your reps and tell them to rein the ATF in because they're, uh, they're getting way out of line. They're getting way out there and Biden's letting them do it. Biden's, Biden's wanting, to do it, wanting them to do it and the uh, Democratic majority controlled Senate is wanting them to do it. Far left's wanting them to do it. Folks, this is a step in the direction where they're going to start knocking on people's houses. They're going to be, if we don't let this continue, they're going to be like, hey, you own guns? You're going to be like, well, that ain't none of your business. I lost all my firearms in the boat and accident. They're going to be like, mm, well, we need to come in your house and check. And, you know, that's not cool. And... It's headed in that direction if we don't put a stop to it. we gotta, we got to put a stop to it right now. Now, I'm enough talking about that subject. Uh, you know, this, uh, this Ukraine thing, man, uh, it's, it's worrying me. Uh, I don't know how this situation is going to go. I don't know if we're going to get the nuclear war with Russia. But it uh, seems like... Uh, even though they're really not, but they are, uh, Russia and China are kind of buddying up to each other. And if the 
they're not really friends and they're not, they can't really trust each other but the thing is if they was to unite against us we'd have some major problems there so we we'll need to keep an eye on that situation keep preparing and uh and we actually need to start monitoring that situation that's just my opinion on that so that's just a few things that was going on uh and folks Y'all need to follow me on all my social media. Uh, you definitely need to follow me on all my social media. You need to keep up with what's going on in the channel. And uh, because I, a lot of times I will share things that you need to know on that social media. So that being said, uh, you know, a lot of times I'll share like letters you can send to uh to your officials or whatever that I made up, I'll send links that like the GOA or the Firearms Policy Coalition or or National Association of Gun Rights have sent out, where you can send letters talking about these uh things that the that you politicians need to hear about trying to keep these anti freedom and anti two A gun laws out and things of that nature. So, yeah, I've been behind a little bit of everything, including the channel lately. Uh, I've had to do some extra training at work, and it is, I mean, it just, just took up, I mean, literally about 90% of my time. So, that being said, that initial phase is over, and things will get, be getting back to a little bit more normal schedule, and uh, hopefully I can put out the content and keep up with everything that's going on and get the news out to y'all. Now. Just because all that was happening didn't mean I was not preparing for some videos. Here's a little sneak peek at some stuff. All this stuff right here will be featured in videos. Yeah, got you wondering. Some of this stuff right here will be featured in videos. Oh, that's got you wondering too, huh? Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of good stuff. Lots and lots of good stuff. So, lots of stuff to come. And, uh, I'm going to try to keep putting stuff positive out there, but, uh, I'm going to try to stay on top of this 2A news and this freedom news and what's going on in the media and getting y'all that info out there as quick as I can. And, uh, all that good stuff. But I love y'all folks. Y'all the best people in the world. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you sign up for the Glock 19 giveaway. Make sure you sign up for the, uh, the February 9th giveaway. Uh, lots of good content to come. And folks, if uh, if there's something out there that I can find out that the other channels are afraid to tell you, I'll definitely tell you on here. It is what it is. And that's always another reason you need to follow me on all my social media because... If you lose track of me here, you know, I'm still going to be putting news out there somewhere else. And I'm fixing to really, really uh, hit the Facebook, hit the Instagram, hit the Twitter up. A lot of new stuff coming. So you need to hang on and be ready for that. But anyway, folks, I'm out of time. I love y'all. I thank y'all. I'll catch you next time.